Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of time intervals. This is standard 3.7c on the great state of Texas and we are using the very first item off of the redesign practice online third grade star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, in this star redesign here, you see it's going to be completely online, and you might have to scroll a little bit because it might not always fit on your screen. But we are dealing with time intervals here. And so, Let's take a look at uh, the problem itself, and then we'll also take a look at what we could do with this online test. So the clock shows the time a movie started, and then the hour lasted one hour and 15, the movie lasted one hour and 15 minutes, which time is closest to the time that the movie ended? All right, so it looks like we have two parts here. First, we need to be able to figure out when did the movie start, uh, and then secondly, we need to figure out you know, obviously the answer, when did the movie end? Now, if you look here, typically what we would do, we would start writing on this, but we don't have necessarily a drawing tool for this online test. But what we do have, what I used uh, previously was the notepad, but it's just for typing. Uh, and so it's not super helpful. I like the graphing paper, right? So. We're going to use this graphing paper. You notice we can change the transparency so we can, uh, it starts right there at the middle. So that's kind of nice. So what we could do is we can actually draw over our picture here uh, and we can change the grid size if we need to. But uh, we can, we, many different colors here. So let's go with green and we can either add points if we're actually going to be doing uh, graphing I like that, but we're probably not going to do that. We can draw some lines. Uh, but what I'm going to find the most helpful, let's reset this here. I'm going to find the drawing feature. This is the closest that we're going to get to be able to have scratch paper on the actual star test. So let's see what time this is. Okay, so we've got the hour here is between 6 and 7. So it's going to be 6 something. Uh, and then, let's see. We need to skip count by fives to figure out the minute hand there. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, we've got 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. All right, it's not liking my zeros for some reason. There we go. All right, so 6, 45, almost 7. That's why the our hand is going uh, pretty close to seven. So that's the start point. Now, what we need to do is we need to figure out how long it lasts. Okay, so 645. So typically, I find it easiest to do a little bit of a timeline. And you know what? We'll change this color here. Let's make it red. Let's make our timeline red. All right, so we're going to start at 645 here. And we're going to add an hour, and then we're going to add 15 minutes, okay? So we're going to take one big jump. And we're going to take one big jump from 6.45. That's one hour. That's just going to jump to 7.45. Okay, now we've got a little tiny jump here, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Well, let's, let's just go back to our clock here, right? So 5, 10, 15. So it goes back to the o'clock. And I was already at 7.45. So if I go to, if I was at 7.45, like right there, then I'm going to go up to the next hour, which means my hour is going to go up to 8. So 15 minutes is going to get me up to 8 o'clock. And so we're going to scroll down here, look at our four answer choices, and... We are going to go with A, and then we would just hit this next button up in the top left corner. We would go to our next problem.